the presentation of anarchism, anarchism. a social philosophy which aims at the emancipation, economic, social, political, and spiritual of the human race. The emancipation. Anarchist Essays is brought to you by Loughborough University's Anarchism Research Group. For more information on the ARG, see the link in the show notes or follow us on Twitter at ARGLBORO. Anarchism, Literature, and the Problem of Representation by Frankie Hines. Anarchism, across its many orientations and tendencies, has been united by certain things that it stands resolutely against. Anarchists are against the state and capitalism. No gods, no bosses, no nations, no borders. Today, anarchists might specify that they're against all forms of oppression and domination. Another thing that anarchists are opposed to might be representation. When anarchists reject the state, they reject the idea that its democratic institutions can represent people and their needs. When anarchists reject the vanguard party form that's favoured by Leninists, they reject the idea that that structure can represent the working class. Fundamentally, anarchists see political representation as a way of denying people control over their lives, of telling people who they are and what they want, and denying them the capacity to articulate those matters for themselves. The anarchist critique of representation isn't limited to the political sphere, though. Anarchists are also alert to the possibility that cultural forms of representation can be authoritarian in similar ways. Efforts to represent reality in realist forms carry the risk of imposing narratives on the world that mirror the workings of representation in the authoritarian state. At the same time, though, anarchists have always been active in the cultural sphere. As long as anarchism has existed, there has been anarchist fiction, anarchist music, anarchist art, and so on, and there have been critical perspectives on culture informed by anarchist commitments. From Emma Goldman's work on drama, through the influence of anarchism on modernist art and literature, to contemporary anarcho-punk music, anarchists have been aware of the value of culture for their political projects. The anarchist critique of representation, however, raises difficult questions for the study of anarchist literature. If anarchism finds representation in all its forms to be a threat to autonomy, the status of literature and art is brought into question. In this essay, I'll discuss some of the ways that contemporary anarchist literature responds to this apparent contradiction. In order to ground that discussion, I'll make use of the anarchist critique of representation and another closely related concept, the concept of direct action. When anarchists refuse to be represented by the state or other institutions, are insisting on their own power, everyone's power, to decide the direction of their own lives. When anarchists reject a strategy of electing leaders to make decisions on people's behalf, they're insisting that we're capable of governing ourselves. When anarchists criticise A to B protests, or signing petitions or writing to one's representative, they're calling for unmediated forms of political action. This is what anarchists call direct action a way of engaging in politics in which people are empowered to take action themselves rather than relying on representatives or representational structures. You can't vote to end capitalism, anarchists would say. Instead, if we want to end it, we have to do so ourselves. As such, anarchists have tended to favour modes of political action that directly disrupt the forms of social organisation they oppose, from strikes, blockades and occupations, to acts of sabotage, vandalism and terrorism. I want to argue in this essay for an anarchist literary theory that would build on the critique of representation that would foreground direct action, an instrumentalist approach that thinks about texts as forms of direct action rather than as representational. I want to take seriously the idea that we might conceive of texts as tools in political struggle, or, if nothing else, that the line between the text and the tool can be blurred in ways that are productive for both critique and practice. Such an approach which understands texts in terms of what they do and what effects they produce is, I would argue, both a necessary bearing for the study of anarchist literature and the outcome of a rigorous application of anarchist tenets to the practice of textual scholarship 
Within literary studies, it's commonly observed that texts gain their meaning from the contexts in which they are produced, circulated, and read. And it may not be too controversial to observe that texts produce effects both in their readers and across society. Yet what is missing from these accounts, and necessarily central to an anarchist approach, is politics. The possibility that texts' resonances can serve specific functions in the context of confrontational social or political movements. In search of a theory that can help us to articulate such an instrumentalism, we might turn to the work of Gilles Deleuze and Felix Cortari, whose account of the nature of concepts contains a suggestive approach to possible instrumentalizations of theoretical writing. From my perspective, Deleuze and Guattari's book What is Philosophy, published in 1991, is more instructive on the question of what philosophy is not than that of what philosophy is. Philosophy, they insist, is not a matter of contemplation or reflection, nor is it concerned with communication. Philosophy has nothing to do with discussion and debate, because discussion and debate seek the creation of a consensus that always eludes us. Rather than creating consensus, philosophy creates concepts. The definition of philosophy that Deleuze and Guattari deploy is simple, perhaps deceptively so. Philosophy, they argue, is the art of forming, inventing and fabricating concepts. Concepts do not appear to the philosopher fully formed and only in need of uncovering and describing, like platonic forms. Rather, the work of a philosopher is to create them. What then is a concept, if not something to be used in communication, discussion or debate? In an earlier discussion with Michel Foucault, Deleuze responds to this problem through an instrumental account of thought. Deleuze says, and I quote, A theory is exactly like a box of tools. It has nothing to do with a signifier. It must be useful, it must function, and not for itself. If no one uses it, then the theory is worthless or the moment is inappropriate. I leave it to you to find your own instrument, which is necessarily an instrument for combat. In this passage, Deleuze speaks of theories rather than concepts, yet for our purposes the difference is less important than the proposition that thought, or writing, is not to be measured according to communicative or discursive standards, but simply on the basis of its use or function. The concept, theory or idea is active and interventionist, and valuable only to the extent that it is useful. Rather than transmitting an idea or sentiment in a communicative act, to introduce a concept is to provide an interlocutor with a tool or machine that performs specific functions. I want to argue that an anarchist approach to literary texts would be very similar to Deleuze and Guattari's approach to philosophy. Like them, we ought to ask what uses a text can be put to and what effects it is capable of producing. The sort of effects to be found in anarchist literature are most obviously political effects, effects on movements and action. Viewed in this way, paradigmatic anarchist texts would be those that aim to escape representational functions and pursue other ends. For example, anarchist manifestos that aim to construct or convoke a revolutionary subject, or for that matter, to undo one. Scholars like Martin Puchner and Janet Lyon have identified the manifesto in both its political and artistic guises as a genre that tries to intervene concretely in the world, to use J.L. Austin's influential framing to do things with words. Anarchist manifestos such as that written by Anselm Belgarig in 1850 or the Crime Think Collective's more recent To Change Everything can be read in this tradition as texts that try in different ways to directly intervene in political contestation. Or we could consider anarchist how-to guides or direct action manuals, which seek to instruct their readers in how to carry out forms of direct action. Ranging from acts of ecological sabotage to the ins and outs of running a consent workshop, from guides to subverting state surveillance to the intricacies of consensus decision-making, texts like these can be placed in a long tradition of didactic literature or advice literature, and by seeking to directly guide readers, they try to function along the lines of direct action rather than representation. Works of fiction or memoir can function as forms of direct action too, when they serve to exhort or propagandise for a particular strategy, or for what they see as anarchist ways of living. Consider, for example, Edward Abbey's 1974 novel The Monkey Wrench Gang, which was identified as the inspiration for the emergence of the direct action environmentalist group Earth First in the 1980s. 
As our first founder Dave Foreman recounts, the group agreed upon nine principles and purposes, one of which was the aspiration to, and I quote, inspire others to carry out activities straight from the pages of the Monkey Wrench Gang. Yet if anarchists try to escape representation and pursue a role for texts in or as direct action, they do not necessarily always succeed in doing so. Indeed, there are inevitable complications and complexities in all the examples I've just given. If anarchists write a manifesto, a genre closely associated with the pursuit of political effects, they find it's also a form closely associated with political authority, one that's hard to reconcile with an anti-authoritarian project. The same is true of anarchist how-to guides, which, if they're to be effective, require that some sort of authority is imputed to the text. And the Monkey Wrench Gang, as a classic example of an anarchist work of fiction that generated political effects, raises other problems when we place it besides Edward Abbey's views on gender and immigration, which are anathema to most anarchists, and the often reactionary directions taken by our first's own anti-humanist politics. The direct action approach to literature, then, has to be attentive to texts that fail to do what's intended of them, or that generate effects that are unintended or unforeseen. I began by listing some of the things that anarchism stands in opposition to, the state, capitalism, domination, hierarchy, and so on. In practice, though, anarchism's hostility to these structures is never as total as anarchists would like. Anarchists, like everyone else, live in a world that's structured by these forces and can never entirely escape their reach. In the same way, efforts to evade representation are complex and may run into dead ends or unexpected outcomes. As such, anti-representationalism, like all anarchism's other antis, is never finished. Just as there can be no complete freedom, there is no final escape from representation. Indeed, anti-representationalism need not mean doing away with representation entirely, it might instead involve renegotiating it, or finding ways to be inside and against it. Even while maintaining a resolute hostility to representation, anarchist literature is inevitably inextricably caught up in it. Representation cannot be completely overcome, but is the subject of continuous negotiations and contestations, with implications for any anarchist literary theory. Thank you for listening. To help others find Anarchist Essays, please rate and review us wherever you find your podcasts. And if you're interested in anarchist ideas, why not check out the journal Anarchist Studies? For over 20 years, Anarchist Studies has been publishing original research on the history, theory, and practice of anarchism. For more information, visit www.lwbooks.co.uk forward slash anarchist studies.